This is my 1.5 volt pulse motor uh, charging a lithium ion 110 milliamp hour driving a morphing LED. I'll show you some voltages here in a minute. This is the double A battery. That's up pretty good. It's my Morphin LED. It's just tucked underneath there. Coming off my lithium ion. It does take a little while to charge the battery, but it does charge it even while driving the Morphin LED. 2.57 will go up to about 2, 8, just under 3 volts off of a 1.5 volt battery. I'll show you my coils. The LED will still continue to morph because the battery's charged to about 2.5 volts. This is my disc. Let's see if I can get it in there. Neodymium's just magnetically stuck on there. My coils, 300 ohms, very fine winding. The motor is 16 ohms, a little heavier gauge wire. It's my little magnetic switch, fabricated out of a CD-ROM with a little neodymium glued to it to repel the disc to close the switch. These are high speed rectifiers. I uh, came out of a car amplifier. I've got the LED resistor down so it doesn't drain so hard on the battery and to prevent blowing the LED. Anyway, I just wanted to get this out there. I had another video, but I didn't really explain anything, so I thought I would. That's my pulse motor generator. And I'll show you the voltage dropping since the disc is not on it and spinning. should drop. It's going to drop slow because I got the bulb resistor down so it's not drawing a lot. Yeah, if I can get him on there. Anyway, it will drop. It drops slow, but it does drop. But it will charge and drive the LED off of a AA battery. Now the voltage should start to come back up. And it'll come up to about 270 somewhere around there on 1.5 volts anyway I just wanted to explain some stuff on the motor generator uh, thanks for watching more videos coming soon